Thank you, Dave. Well, he was part of the morning routine for thousands of central New Yorkers for decades. Tonight, we're remembering longtime WSYR radio host Joe Galuski. Galuski died this morning after a battle with cancer. This morning, the show he led for so many years paid tribute to him. Here's News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan. Hi there, Joe Galuski. Here's a couple of minutes of Central New York's Thursday morning news. For so many mornings, Joe Galuski's familiar voice was there, not only for his listeners, but for the people he worked with. I remember Joe as the guy who gave me a shot. Um, Joe is the guy who believed in me to make me as producer. Nick Russo and Galuski were together before most people even wake up. This young producer finding who he calls his second dad. I visited him one time and I got to hold his hand and that meant a lot to me because I didn't know if I was going to be able to see him again. A Syracuse native, Joe was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma last October, taking him away from the job he's had since 1975. Over the course of his career, he manned the mic at all times of day, but it was mornings he mastered. So our friend Joe Kaluski lost his battle uh, this morning on News Radio 570 WSYR. In Galuski's studio this morning, George Kilpatrick and Don Lark feeling the loss of their friend, but leading the broadcast of memories. We heard from the mayor, the county executive, and from colleagues from different uh, competing channels as well. Uh, a lot of, of people missing Joe this morning. Many of them, his regular callers, like Syracuse professor Bob Thompson. Uh, at the end of being asked questions by uh, Joe Galuski for an hour, I felt like I'd been through a final exam and best-selling author Ed Klein. He always would start when he called me by saying, how are you, my friend? And it was always a friend. It yeah. was, you sensed that you were family. A newsroom family accustomed to reporting tragedy now trying to cope with their own. We're around this so much, sometimes we get uh, um, too thick of a th skin and don't necessarily understand uh, or can relate to what's happening in other people's lives, but today it hits home. Three, seven, ten dollars uh, a month, 30 cents a day. If a child with cancer came up to you on the street and asked for 30 cents, I think you'd do it. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. And our condolences to Joe's yeah. family tonight. Well, Joe worked at WSYR Radio for nearly 30 years. His radio career was nearly 40 years long. It also included stints at WFBL, WNDR. He also worked in Buffalo and Baltimore. We will miss you, Joe Galuski. Indeed we will.